Hey guys, this is my latest creation. This is a heater box that I use to warm up honey just enough to get it to flow out of the frames. And I'm going to go through how this thing works and um, how I think I'll be able to use it for some experiments I want to run. So first off, it has a temperature controller right there. And this is made by Inkbird. And the way that the controller works is when it has a, you, you have a set point, you set it to a certain temperature and it turns on this heater outlet uh, until you reach that temperature. Um, you can also have a cooling element if you want it to maintain a cool temperature. But in my case, I want it to heat up the inside of this box to 95 degrees. And I picked 95 degrees because that is the highest temperature that a hive will get uh, inside. And so I know that honey is safe to be heated to that temperature because that's the temperature inside the hive. Now besides the controller, so I plug in this cord and then we go to the inside of the box. And so this cord is, uh, it goes to right here and then I connect up a heater. And in this case, it's a reptile heater, but it screws into, just a light socket so you could put a light bulb in there too um, but I didn't really want it to be light I just wanted heat and so this reptile heater which is rated at 100 watts is what I'm using and then also included in here is this fan and this fan I took out of a microwave that was broken but the fan still worked and so when this thing turns on, the fan turns on and the heater turns on. And the fan blows the air past the heater to cool it down, but then it also warms up the box. And then right here is the temperature sensor that the temperature controller uses to uh, measure the temperature and determine whether it's hot enough or not. Now I size this box to the size that I could just put um, frames on, or not frames, but supers on. And so I use some thicker uh, styrofoam supers. And so I can just put a super full of honey frames on here and it will heat them up so that I can extract them easier. Um, and then of course, once I have the super, then I just put the lid on and we're good to heat up. So let's see this thing in action. Okay. So I have the temperature. It's measuring at 54.3 right now. The set point is 95 and we can hear that. The fan is running. There it is. And the heating element's on too. And this will just keep running, slowly increasing the temperature inside the box until it gets to 95 and then it will shut off. So I um, also have a Raspberry Pi with some temperature sensors that I want to use um, because I want to see first off um, what's the insulation capability of this box which is not very much. This is half inch plywood and then the base is three-quarter plywood and the styrofoam is a little better at insulating but um, 
what I want to do is insulate the inside of the box and then see how that changes how quickly it comes up to temperature and how long it holds the temperature and then I'll, I'll probably do other experiments too okay but with that uh, there's more to come uh, maybe for a different video hey if you guys like my videos subscribe I'll make more bye